I am back with another sampling video. This month I have been trying out some fragrances. Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Verity. I hope that you are really well. Big, big thank you if you have hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. Let's talk about these fragrances I have been trying this month. So the first fragrance I've been trying out is Queen of Silk by Creed. I really, really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed wearing this. It's so rich. It's such a smooth, rich perfume. This is one of those fragrances that is just blended so immaculately. Like, it's blended to perfection to the point where Personally, I feel like I cannot pick out any kind of particular note in this. It just has this smooth, sweet, slightly smoky, very, very luxurious smell, but it has a lot of notes. You have saffron, osmanthus, magnolia. In the middle, you have passion fruit, tuberose, patchouli, and agar wood. Base notes you have Madagascar vanilla, Ambroxan, myrrh, musk, cedarwood and incense. But honestly, like, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I smell this, I smell that. I just smell a fragrance that is very smooth. It's blended really, really well. It's just a very luxurious, florally woody, smoky scent. That is what I get from Queen of Silk. There's something really alluring about this fragrance and what I noticed when I was wearing it was it was really long lasting and I did keep getting wafts of it coming off of my skin and I just kept thinking wow like this fragrance really has something special about it. It's very different to anything I've smelled. It smells very very classy. And although I can't really pick out any particular notes, it's the whole complexity, the whole blend of this fragrance that I just really enjoy. So Queen of Silk, I have really, really enjoyed wearing. And this is one that I would like in my collection. Queen of Silk is a thumbs up from me. Next up, the fragrance I've been sampling is Gritty's Mango Oud. Anything to do with mango? Yes, I'm in. This is quite an interesting one for me, actually. So mango oud is described as like a tropical kind of mango fragrance. You have a lot of tropical notes in this. You have mango, guava, neroli. Then in the mid, you have coconut milk, lang ylang and osmanthus and base notes of oud, vanilla and amber. I'm just going to be straight up. This fragrance is not working for me and there is something I'm not getting on with with Mango Oud and I have to say like when I try this on my skin I am picking up a fecal note that is just not sitting well with me. Reading the notes I would have thought I would love this and that just goes to show you cannot go by just the notes. If you've tried this perfume, let me know if you also have picked up anything funky, anything a bit dirty, a bit fecal in this fragrance because I feel like I'm losing my mind. Like I keep trying it and I do smell it. So this is a no for me. I definitely will not be getting Gritty's Mango Oud. Next up, we have Sparkling Joe, which is Wilhelm Parfumery's latest fragrance. Wow, this really smells like a glass of bubbly, like a slightly fruity, sparkly drink. And I actually really, really like this. I've also put some on my skin, but I've been trying this out and I do think it smells beautiful. It's clean, it's fizzy, it's bubbly, it's flirty. Wow, it's feminine. I really, really like this one. It smells very, very pretty. It's a pretty fragrance. In Sparkling Joe, you have champagne and bergamot and juniper. 
Also you get pear, ginger and ambrette in the middle and base notes you have musk, ambergris and oak. It does smell like a very expensive fruity champagne. Really lovely. This does have a real brightness from some aldehydes in this and I actually love that in a fragrance. It's very uplifting. It has a muskiness on the dry down. It's really beautiful. The only thing about this fragrance is longevity i feel like i need to test it more which is very difficult with these dabbers because you really don't get a true true feel for a fragrance and the longevity and i've made that mistake in the past where i thought that it doesn't last long and then i've got the full bottle and it's actually really long lasting so my only concern is if this fragrance is going to give me that longevity. So I'm going to see if I can maybe sample it a bit more, try it in a store like fully and see how well it lasts. But other than that, I'm absolutely really enjoying this. Sparkling Joe is one that I'm going to definitely experiment with a little bit more before I make a decision. But I do really, really like this one. It's lovely. Next up we have Fire at Will by Javoy. And this is a fragrance I was really wanting to try for so long. So I was very excited when I actually got the sample. I truly, truly love vanilla. One of my favorite notes and Although I don't like perfumes that are overly like sickly sweet, I still love vanilla when it's like done right and this is one that I love. I'm just telling you now, I love it. And on the skin, wow, it's very, it is very sweet. But for me, I don't feel like it is sickly sweet like Bianco Latte by Giardini di Toscana. That I found was a little bit intensely sweet. Whereas I can handle this one, I can handle fire at will this is beautiful there's something so addictive and delicious about it a true rich indulgent vanilla i don't feel it's very synthetic beautiful on the opening beautiful in the dry down it's a vanilla lover's dream and if you are into gourmand fragrances fire at will definitely is one worth checking out. I would add this to my collection tomorrow. I really love it. You've got vanilla, you've got mimosa, middle notes of more vanilla, brown sugar, and base notes of amber, musk, and vetiver. It's really gorgeous. Yep, yeah. fire at will, I would like a bottle for sure. And lastly, the final fragrance is Soradora Mallow. When I first smelt this, I just knew this is definitely a me kind of fragrance. I really love the heliotrope and the violet in this. This is one of those very dreamy and cloudy and fluffy kind of fragrances. Oh, it's really beautiful. To me, it's very angelic. It's very cozy. I feel like this would be such a good signature scent because it's a very comforting fragrance. Notes in this you have raspberry, vanilla sugar, pink pepper, middle notes of heliotrope, orange blossom and almond and in the base you have violet, black musk and amber. And this is just a very soft, powdery, musky, your skin but better fragrance and a very kind of timeless fragrance I feel as well. I want Mallow by Soradora, that is a yes. That is it for today, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please do let me know in the comments if you have any of these perfumes and your thoughts on them, I really would love to know. If you did enjoy the video, please do give me a thumbs up and if you want to, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon, bye. Thank you.